We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me you watch this video. It helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with Tesla Inc. TSLA stock. And we have some things to talk about on why it was running higher today. And now in the aftermarket hours, it's falling pretty quickly. We're going to break it all down in today's video. And our Tesla bot this morning at 9.35 a.m. sent us out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, call options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. And this is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down. And you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator. Getting connected to the spy bot, our QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets. And you can now join the members using these resources, maximizing whether stocks are going up or going down by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts with 42 vision. So here we are with TSLA stock pushing up higher, as I stated, pulling back down the aftermarket hours. And we're going to talk about what pushed it up higher today, some big news and what this could mean for the stock moving forward and what the charts are showing. But before we break it all down, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So these are the three stocks I mentioned this morning. And every single one of them gave 3 to 5%, 5 to 10% plus. But one of them turned out to be a home run. And that was AIHS. And we caught this one in the pre-market literally towards the bell. And right after the bell, it fell all the way down to 102. And within 5 to 10 minutes, it hit a highest point of 20% plus, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us and let's jump into these charts. So here we are with TSLA stock Tesla Inc. After having a big run pushing downwards in the aftermarket hours and I don't think volatility is going anywhere anytime soon. After such a big run, we need to talk about some key levels and what made it run like this and what this could mean for the stock the next few days. Now, I'm going to pull up Ultimate 42 Vision, the bull and bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 Vision indicator, getting connected to the spy bot, our QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets. And you can now join the members using these resources, maximizing in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts. So TSLA stock has been under a bear indicator on the two hour since way up here at 745 and it's pulled down to a dip area here and both times it hit dip areas, which is white with red borders. It has tried and attempted to bring itself back up, but no bull indicator so far has popped up in the bigger picture. And I'm starting off with the two hour because I want you guys to see this from the bigger picture. Now we're going to narrow in and we're going to look at some more volatility and look at this from the 15 minute. So when I pull up the 15 minute today, it got a bull indicator shortly after the bell. And from that moment forward, it pushed upwards and in the volatility of the aftermarket hours, we just got a bear indicator here at 659 and it's gone down to the 640 so far. Now what made it run the way it did? Well, it has to do with headlines of Kathy Wood. Why? Because she is buying up, or ARK itself, she's part of ARK, buying up Tesla and Zoom Video. Now, that's not the only stock that she's been buying, right? She's been buying others like Coin, Roku, and it was a big surprise when Tesla no longer was the number one holding, right? Until last week, once Zoom Video actually took the top spot. Now she's been buying Zoom Video as well. So if she's buying at this dip, I believe she thinks there's a price opportunity here with Tesla at a reasonable level, or 
just like any other hedge fund and institutional investor, they're just buying up the dips because no one knows the bottom. But these are the best prices we've seen if you zoom out nearly in all year, right? When you zoom out, some of the best prices that we've seen since the beginning of the year and even the end of last year. I mean, the highest point we recently saw and the 52 week range is 1243 and she nearly bought 50% from those levels, right? From the all time highs that we recently saw and the 52 week range. So it's reasonable from her perspective, as I would assume that she's taking a shot at these levels, especially that it's nearly 50% down from the all time highs. Now, when stocks fall 50%, the risk to reward of it going back up to those all time highs or reaching it or going above it is that it doesn't just go back up 50%, it actually can go back up 100%, right? Because when something goes down 50% or goes down 20%, when it goes back up, it doubles that, right? It comes back up. If it was 20% down, it comes back up 40%. If it comes down 50, it comes back up. It's a hundred percent return from that dip to that rip. So when you look at it in the bigger picture, it's been going downwards. Now back to the 15 minute, that is why things have been this way, but the volatility in my opinion will continue, right? You got this bear indicator here that popped up yesterday and lasted all day towards the end of the day, hit that bottom area, got that bull indicator, brought itself back up and quickly shifted back to a bear indicator. And if you pull up the five minute, same thing here, right? It's looking the same, nearly the beginning of the day as our spy bot sent it out. And it sent us out recently now here at the aftermarket hours. As I'm making this video, not too long ago, it sent us out a bear indicator. So within the volatility, I believe there's opportunities and the volatility is not going anywhere. But the reason why it ran up like this is due to the fact that Kathy Wood is disclosing she bought a large amount and a lot of people follow her and she's not just buying tesla she's been buying up coin roku and zoom video now does that mean that these stocks are guaranteed to go back up and continue their rallies no but could this bring attention to these stocks yes on the one hour it has a bull indicator and right now i'm going to be watching very carefully if the bull indicator gets canceled out by a bear indicator if there's a continuation to the downside right with these dark green bars and red borders into red bars or a continuation of dark green with red borders and a bear indicator popping up that cancels out this bull indicator and on the 15 minute if you narrow it down and look at a little bit more volatility i'm going to be watching if this continues to hold true going into tomorrow and if this breaks through the key support levels of 640 and all the way back down here towards 630. If those two get broken through and this continues, then these bear indicators could start to take over the chart. And I'm going to be watching if this 15 minute can roll over into the one hour in the bigger picture and cancel out yesterday's bull indicator. And this could all turn out to just be a big momentum move or fake out, as you would call it, because she bought the dip, she made it rally. But there's still a lot more selling pressure than buyers and she just saw an opportunity for her portfolio or whatever she sees right anyone makes their own rational decisions but just going off of how she's reacting i think she's just looking at the bigger picture and saying you know what that's a pretty good price compared to where we were at before if this continues to fall i'm gonna buy the dip because always remember she looks at things five years out or more and as a trader, one needs to look at what's going on right now, catch the momentum and move with the trend. So could this start a staircase effect to the upside? Well, it needs to break above 680 to really have some strength and take off and that this bull indicator can continue to hold true. And that bear indicator on the 15 minute needs to be canceled out by a bull indicator coming back up in that reversal and getting over 680 and canceling it out and getting a bull indicator to push it higher. Those are my thoughts based off 42 vision and what I see in the charts. And to receive clarity within the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to the spy bot, the QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and there's many more bots on the way to get connected to the discord. It sends us direct notifications 
to give us that edge and clarity within the charts and you can receive this edge and clarity that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on the opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down you can now gain access to these resources and join the members using these resources receiving that edge and clarity within the volatility to the markets whether stocks are jumping up going down bearish or bullish no fomo no chasing just focused on what really matters and maximizing within those moves as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make